one of the things I found fascinating is learning more about the, the buildings, like the fact that where Hopewell's is now in the old lace factory, that, that was once used as a workhouse in Nottingham. And I'd, I think very few people actually know that. Um, learning about the Gordon boys um, who were taken off the street and uh, given a home and some in, industrial training and people remember them being seen around the streets still in the 1950s right into the 1960s I think um, so that link of what we see now in Nottingham and linking it to the past and how it got to be, um, I found particularly interesting. The main areas I, I found joy more is learning about the, from material of, of times before comparing today. Seems that lots of events of the past are re repeating itself mm -hmm. so my and the enjoyment of being uh, having people having knowledge given to you on a paper and, and examining it yourself rather than relying on a film or a book to give you that flavour it's very interesting the topic I didn't know much about you know, poverty. I knew a bit, but um, it's actually looking a bit more deeply, scratching the surface, getting under underneath, and finding out about characters, looking in old newspapers and and you know things of the day, um, finding out you know just really what it was like. So you, you felt you were sort of a bit transported there, which was which is nice. We've talked a lot about the notion of you know the deserving and the undeserving poor, and I've come to have a better understanding of that and how the um, origins of the the present organisation actually had quite limited funds and had very difficult decisions to make about who to support and and who not, and I think. Um, poverty was such a problem in Nottingham. Um, in those days that um, it, it must have been very difficult because there was such great need by so many people.